Welcome to this short introduction to the IMU School of Dentistry program. I'm Dr. Munir, the moderator for this session. With, with me today is Professor Xiao Liang Lin. She's the Dean School of Dentistry with more than 20 years of experience. Hello, Prof. Xiao. Hi. Okay. Um, welcome, everyone, to the talk on the dental program at IMU. So I will bring you through briefly an overview of the program for the next few minutes. So for the School of Dentistry that provides this uh, dental program, we have two main track. One track is you can complete the whole program with us in five years, or you can choose to complete part of the program with us the first two and a half years, and then subsequently transfer to one of our partner universities uh, for another two and a half or three years and receive the degree from this respective public university, uh, uh, partner university. So for uh, our intake, it's every February. So you can send in your applications any time of the year and we will process them accordingly. For our partner universities, we have a few partner universities. We have uh, Dalhousie University in Canada. In UK, we have University of Glasgow and University of Dundee. In Australia, we have University of Adelaide. And in New Zealand, we have University of Otago. And I would like to stress that all these universities are world-class universities and you will receive your degree from this university if you choose the partner dental school track. Okay, why study dentistry at IMU? As IMU offers the widest range of healthcare programs, our students are fully immersed in a vibrant community of students and practitioners from all healthcare fields. This allows for the development of strong friendship amongst the peers that will be the foundation of an extensive healthcare professional network upon graduation. And our curriculum is benchmarked to the international standards. So our curriculum is current, up to date, and supported by good educational philosophy. And hence, we prepare the students to be the dentists of the future. And the program is well taught by qualified and experienced staff at the world-class facilities. We have various uh, facilities and equipment that is very current, for example, uh, intraoral scanner, Combin uh, CT scans and so on. And we have a few guiding principles for our dental curriculum. The first one is integration. We have vertical and horizontal integration, meaning to say we try to integrate preclinical to clinical. So what the students learn in preclinical setting, they will find it useful to prepare them for clinical patient treatment as well. And we also stress on personalized learning, meaning to say we support the students for their personal learning. For example, if students choose to learn on one particular subject first, then another one, we have a lot of resources to support the students so they can take their time step by step. We support them to make sure that they learn comprehensively and they do enjoy the learning experience at IMU as well. And we also stress a lot on authentic learning because our students do a lot of field work. They uh, do, ha do have a lot of community engagement activities, for example, they will go to nursing home, go to old folks home, go to orphanages 
to be with the community, to understand the problem at grassroots level. So this is how they learn. So this is authentic because when they graduate in the future, these are the patients that they may have to deal with when they go into the government service. So IMU aim to produce dentists of the future. As I mentioned before, IMU is a healthcare university. So we stress a lot on interprofessional collaboration with other program as well. For example, medicine, pharmacy, nutrition and dietetics, and also chiropractor as well. So we also stress on evidence-based practice. The students provide treatment based on scientific evidence. We have also got very prominent entrepreneurship uh, module in our curriculum to ensure that students are work ready in terms of entrepreneurship. They are exemplary leadership because throughout the whole program, we do have a lot of opportunity to train them to be the future leaders. We don't only stress on academic knowledge, we also stress on personal development as well to ensure that they are the leader of the future. And we use a lot of contemporary technology to ensure a positive learning experience and achieve a competency that would enable them to practice digital dentistry as well. And our students are also compassionate and resilient. That means they are able to strive and go through a stressful period throughout the training. We also have some special key features for the dental program. First, we have the micro-credentialing. These are like a small, small course. Once the students have obtained the competency required for the standard BDS or the dental program, then they can go on to this micro-credential courses that we call it a BDS+. plus. So they actually learn more from what just a normal standard BDS program would require them to learn. And we stress a lot on data science analytics as well to ensure that they are able to analyze the data, the scientific literature, to be able to provide evidence-based care. For our program, we provide opportunity for early clinical exposure. So right at uh, second year in the program, they have already got opportunity to go to the clinic, to see the student, to the senior students treating patients, and also assist the senior students as well. Uh, most of the dental program uh, in general, students will only have clinical exposure at year three. So in our case, it's in year two, we have already uh, enabled them to have clinical exposure. We also have a lot of activity on team-based integrated learning where they learn from peers and they learn from the senior as well. They are being put in a team and given a task and they solve the task or the problem within the team. In this sense, we have the opportunity to inculcate the culture of uh, teamwork. Because when these students, when they graduate as a dentist, they need to be able to work in the whole dental team where you have the dental nurses, you have other auxiliary as well. And for assessment, we emphasize that assessment is to support the educational philosophy. We help the students to learn. The assessment has been put in place to ensure that the students have achieved the learning outcomes of the program. 
and the assessment is not there to feel the students where a lot of students have that kind of uh, mentality. So for us, assessment in principles is such that we support the students learning to ensure that they have learned step by step. So we have various assessment tools that we put in to help us gauge the students learning throughout their journey with us. And also our assessment is fair, transparent, and does not discriminate any uh, students at all. And we have strict regulations to ensure that the assessment process has been carried out to a high level of standard. So what is uh, the future career path for dentists in Malaysia? So once you obtain your basic dental degree, most of the schools in Malaysia call it BDS, Bachelor of Dental Surgery, you will need to go on to serve the government. At this point in time, the compulsory service for government is one year. And then you can choose to stay on to serve the Ministry of Health or Ministry of Defense, or you can uh, become a trainee lecturer in one of the academic institution. If you say that you don't, uh, you would choose to be on your own, to be on your own boss, then you can also go into private practice and set up either your own clinic or join a big group practice. So if you would like to bring your skills level in dentistry to the next level, you can also pursue postgraduate degree. In the field of dentistry, there are specialties as well. For example, orthodontics, which a lot of us may be familiar, that is to have braces, to make you smile better and prettier. We also have endodontics, which deals with the nerve inside the tooth. We have prosthodontics, which will emphasis on crowns and bridges, implants, and so on and so forth. So there are a lot of specialties in the postgraduate training. At this point in time, Malaysia also have a specialist register as well to enable uh, the ones with the appropriate postgraduate degree to be recognized as specialist in this country. At IMU, patient safety, including staff and student safety are our utmost concern. So we have uh, good facilities to support the learning of students in a preclinical setting, we have Dental Skills Center, and we also have Oral Health Center where we receive patients uh, from the public. So students will receive their preclinical skills training, ensure they have achieved a certain set of competencies before they are allowed to treat patients at the Oral Health Center. So with this, I hope I have given you an overview of the dental program at IMU. Over back to you, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Munir. Thank you, Prof. Siao. Uh, there are a few uh, FAQs from the audience. So the first one will be, uh, if I have chosen the local BDS track, is there any opportunity to do study period at one of the partner schools? Hi, Dr. Munia. Yes. If you have chosen the local BDS track, meaning to say you will spend the full five years with us and complete the program here locally. However, we do have a, a study modules that can enable the students to do a short uh, stink at our partner school or even other dental schools that we have uh, established relationship to get uh, experience and exposure in other dental schools as well. 
in the past years, we have students who have gone to Taiwan universities. We have students who have gone to Indonesian universities and also universities in China as well. We also have students who have gone to our partner schools and complete small research projects with our partner dental schools. Thank you. So the second question is, if I choose the partner dental school track, can I choose which partner dental school I would like to go? Thank you for the question. Okay, so if you choose the partner dental school track, that means you study two and a half years with us and another two and a half years with one of our partner. At the point of entry, you have to let us know whether you are choosing our PDS track or you are choosing our partner dental school track. However, we cannot guarantee a particular dental school that you have chosen because the matching process will only happen after two years depending on various factor. So we have a very comprehensive matching system that try to match the requirement of our partner dental schools and also requests from our students as well. So the students will have opportunity to rank their choice of their partner school. And we try at our level best to comply to their request. Okay, thank you. And with this, uh, I have uh, one uh, more question. Uh, from the audience, I heard that there will be professional qualifying exam to allow one to practice dentistry in Malaysia. Will I be affected by this? Okay, so back to the two tracks of uh, mm. program that I have mentioned. If you are in the IMU BDS track, you will not need to take the professional qualifying examination because the professional qualifying examination has been incorporated within the assessment system for our IMU track dental program. However, if you choose to go to one of our partner school and receive a degree from our respective partner school, if you choose to come back to Malaysia to practice dentistry, then you will require to sit for the professional qualifying examination. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Prof. Xiao. With this, we have come to an end of this session. For our audience, you can learn more about uh, our program at www.imu.edu.my, which is our website. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for listening in. Thank you. Take care. Bye.